Hey everybody, um, wanted to come today and just bring up a, a point, and I'm going to be brief, uh, uh, a prepping point that, uh, that I've thought about and it's been in my mind, but uh, put into practice in a way yesterday, or was given a practical application yesterday. Uh, many of you saw the pictures that I posted in the community section on YouTube uh, yesterday with this guy right here overturned. Well, the pictures, um, because my, my Mrs. RWP took those pictures and uh, they weren't taken until once we established that everyone was okay and uh, it was a rescue operation at that point or a recovery operation at that point. But my friend, Mr. C, um, this, is, this is my new four-wheeler, by the way, I say new. It's, it's a 06 Arctic Cat, four-wheel drive, got the dump bed, um, I just showed you that pretty cool rig a little bit longer and uh, a little bit longer and taller than the one I'd been running which uh, which frankly was Mr. C's and Mr. C just finally bought him some property out of the city and so he'll be taking his uh, four-wheeler here in a, a week or so and we've had it for a little over two years it was a very generous uh, gift or loan but anyway Mr. C was trying out my new one here, running some of the trails that we've got. And there's one section where it comes up a pretty steep hill, pops up over, and ends up right behind my little shooting gallery where we where we shoot. And uh, anyway, he's coming up the hill, and a pretty stout, that big around, musky dine vine grabbed the handlebars, whipped him to the side, and flipped him right over. This thing was on her back, belly up. And... Uh, Again, the pictures, you didn't see that in the pictures because when we, you know, ran across and ran, ran up the hill and got, got on the other side, you know, hearing him yelling and all, uh, you know, we, we weren't focused on taking pictures, but uh, at that time, Mr. C is okay. Everyone's okay. Surprisingly, I say surprisingly, I'm, I'm giving this thing some high marks because we grabbed, uh, we grabbed Mr. C's four-wheeler, which is still here, that Yamaha, and, um, brought it over put the winch to it flipped this thing back over and then came from another angle and winched her on out of this hole she was in because she was sitting very precariously sideways and once we got up there you could see gasoline all over it because again she was completely upside down and uh, i thought well let me just try i hit the switch she fired right up nothing bent nothing broke everything works and runs just like it did so you know kudos to the machine for that appreciate that but the message here is simply uh, we've got to pay attention to um, our health we've got to pay attention to not just I mean you know our health obviously in in what we eat uh, what, what we ingest what we're exposed to environmentally etc but also accidents like turning over a four-wheeler you know or falling out of a tree um, one of my vendors at work came in today uh, for a scheduled visit, was all busted up with scars all over him and hobbling along. I said, what happened? He said, oh, I was at my house and uh, pruning a tree and fell out of a tree, you know? So we gotta be smart because now is not the time that you wanna go to a hospital, in my opinion. You don't wanna have that need to go to a hospital. And one day, uh, soon maybe, uh, maybe not, but if things go the way that a lot of folks are predicting or thinking that they're going to go, um, there's not going to be a hospital to go to, you know, or there's not going to be doctors staffing those empty hospitals or whatever the case may be, you know. So now's not the time, you know. N no, no time is the time. Nobody wants to go to the hospital. Nobody wants to have uh, injuries or illnesses enough to where it requires hospitalization. This is one reason why it's important to have uh, people in your mag or on your crew or on your team or on your in your group, whatever you want to call it, or in your family uh, that are prepping with you, or at least that are part of that circle um, that that are either doctors or EMTs or nurses or some kind of skills in in medical aid. Uh, for me personally, I have two uh, tenured nurses in my immediate family that, uh, you know, that that's what we have. 
And so, um, because you don't, like I say, you don't, you don't want to end up having to go to the hospital. You definitely don't want to end up going to the hospital now or at any point. So anyway, that's all I got. Just something to think about. I'm the real world prepper. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.